good quality, honest feedback is a gift. And here's why I say that. It is a gift to be given and to be received. When you're trying to provide feedback to someone, it is important to understand whether they are soliciting or not for that feedback, whether they're welcome to hear new thoughts and ideas and perspectives, and how they might perceive that feedback and its intent as malicious or well-intentioned and well-placed. But when you get opportunities to share your thoughts and ideas, obviously assuming you have them based on your experience, based on your observations, whether you are new to an organization, you're consulting, you're advising someone individually one-on-one. I do a lot of mentoring and mentorship relationships. And um, obviously the expectation is that we are honest and professional and respectful but the outcome, the desired state is for that individual, or that company, or that organization to be better next year than they are today. So part of that is some honest conversations and some honest feedback that needs to be presented in a way that other side will be willing to consider it and ideally even act on it. And on the other way, or from the other perspective or other side of that coin, when you are receiving feedback, when you're given feedback, It is important to separate the person giving you the feedback with the message itself. Sometimes you'll have people who are challenging and frustrating and annoying to work with or deal with, or um, they may not be good and effective and efficient in communicating that message, but their message might be very good, very strong, and something that you want to reflect upon and think about and consider on your own journey of opportunities and challenges in your life, in your career. So don't immediately dismiss feedback when it's unsolicited as, I didn't ask you anything. You don't understand this company or this business or this industry. You don't understand that person that I'm working with and so forth. All of those things may be true and may be accurate, but you also have to understand that them not understanding those components Maybe the strength in that feedback that you need, you've been looking for. So when you get feedback or you receive feedback or you give feedback, focus on what the outcome is. Don't try to bring anybody down. Don't try to be confrontational just for the sake of confronting someone. Have a desired outcome in mind. Hey, I see you're struggling with X, Y, and Z, and I think I can help. Here's what I would do if I was you. Or have you considered this? And you give it in such a way where they have the option to pivot left or right, to act on it or not, or just file it under, you know, you know feedback drawer um, that many of us have. And when you're receiving it, try to be as patient and understanding as you can. And obviously, if it's the same feedback by the same person over and over again, and you have considered it, you have evaluated it, and you see no value, you have to find a way how to kind of interrupt that feedback loop as well. But consider feedback as a gift, because it truly is. I've worked in many organizations and many environments and on many teams where at that moment of either giving or receiving feedback, that moment in time was not as valuable as it was days, weeks, months later, when you really reflected on that feedback or you found value that you can act on and implement within the course of your day. So give feedback to those who are ready to receive it. Obviously don't have an opinion on every topic at all times because that's also not well received. And when somebody is well-intentioned and really wants to be a friend and a colleague and says, hey, something I've noticed, something you're doing, would you mind if I share some thoughts and observations? Take the time to listen and learn. You never know where that advice will come in handy and prove to be valuable for you, your team, and your organization as a whole. As always, if this is the first video you have watched, please consider subscribing below. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, 
Leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day. Listen and learn from others and share the knowledge you have and help those who are coming up after you. Have a great day.